when I was trying to summit Mount Manaslu. In year 2012, we had a bad year. We had a big avalanche and I was buried. A few minutes, um, I thought I'm about to die. I was at Camp 2. We lost about 17 people, died on Camp 3 because a whole avalanche came and you know, oh big Sorak broke into pieces and at 4 a.m. while we were sleeping. It hit us very badly. 17 people died and in my camp, Camp 2, we were buried. One, luckily, we were very lucky. We had the Sherpas, Camp 1. They were with their clients. So they came and rescued us. I will never forget that day. That was one of the most uh, difficult moments in my life where I keep quiet for almost a week. I never talked to anybody because um, I almost went into a stage where we call it giving up in everything. When you're buried, the more you fight, the more the eyes start to compress you. The more you kick, the more it starts oh. to compress you. And the best part about this compress is that the oxygen level also start to reduce, reduce. And uh, the breathing became, you know, like from a normal breathing, shouting, asking for help, it became like <gasps> to that extent. And you know where you get this kind of um, experience, mostly in the ICUs, in the hospitals and so on. It's not a dangerous mountain, it's, it's an easy it's mountain, but because of the avalanche. Yeah. So I will never forget that experience uh, where I have to repeat the climb again in the year 2012. So that is uh, one of the most unforgettable experience because it came to near death, right near losing my own life. You know? And I will always cherish that moment, uh, not just for the bad things, also for the good things because I believe someone up there is protecting me <laughs> and uh, making sure that I come back home safely. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to know great feeling, um, not just uh, reaching the summit, but also uh, escaping from this kind of tragedies or mm. disaster. It was about 10 minutes yeah, for the boys to run from Camp 1 to Camp 2 to support us. Yeah. But that 10 minutes was some of my the most difficult 10 minutes in my life. First, it was fear, it was scary, it was in the dark. At 4 a.m., the first time in your life you're being buried in an avalanche. All this while you only see avalanche, but you're never actually inside an avalanche. But being in a avalanche, you're being hit at 4 a.m., not knowing what's happening, not knowing where you are, not knowing where is up and where is down. Mm -hmm. That was how scary and dark. Uh, without any equipment, without any shoe, you know, you get cold very fast. And uh, all you do is just scream and ask for help. And minute by minute, you're losing oxygen. Even your screen becomes not effective. That moment was, it's just like people uh, you know, mm -hmm. suffering in the water. It's oh. just that I had the oxygen, but it was slowly depleting bit by bit. Mm -hmm. So that's how scary it was, uh, 2012. And uh, I came back home and it's time for me to review all my big mountains dream yes uh, of course when you're being hit like this of course automatically the first thing that comes to your mind is about review all your dreams mm -hmm. whether it's worthwhile you know sacrificing your family and so on so that, that's how it was that's an unforgettable experience mm -hmm.